Hi everybody, welcome to my channel. Right now I'm going to talk about fingernails for playing still string guitar. Um, I'm about ready to build them up right now. They've been stripped off. I peeled off the super glue off of them. But I have a couple of really good tricks to keep them really tough to make them last for a long time. So I'm going to show that to you. You're going to need a couple things, a little bit of baking soda. And I got a little air spray, a little painter's masking tape, super glue, acrylic powder, various sandpapers, a block. I built a little bevel right here so I could use it like this later. But I'm going to show you a trick really quick here. Then I, I just have a piece of <coughs> paper towel on a cardboard so I could wipe excess off like that if I need to. Okay, so the first thing I do is got to get some tape. I'm going to cut off three. I'm going to try to do this pretty quick. I don't think it should take me more than like five, ten minutes. And then I'll have a set of uh, fingernails that will last me playing guitar on a steel guitar, strumming really hard, at least a week. But I can make them last longer than that if I repair them. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to get this masking tape, and I'm going to kind of line it up with my finger here. I'm going to pull it right up under it. I want it up under there. I don't want much gap. I want it to be protected. So get it, that looks pretty good. You can't get it perfect. The trick is we're not going to build up on the top. We're going to build up on the bottom. So what you, if you put a couple of coats of super glue with acrylic under the fingernail, man, that thing's going to be durable. Everybody else I know, they just put it on the top, right? And I'm like, <laughs> so it breaks off. It doesn't last. Yeah, I play bass for like three, four days straight with these fingernails like that, and I, and you can see them starting to wear, but they were tough as heck. So anyway, <coughs> this is how I do it. I do the next one. Kind of a lot of practice to get to this this point, but so I fold I fold the tape over because I'm going to eventually put some super glue on the inside of those fingernails and dip it in the acrylic powder. And the first time I do it, I don't want to get any uh, super glue on the top of the fingernail. Really, I mean, that's what the paper towel for and the cardboard is to wipe it off if it's up there. Just really want to work it in to protect your finger in under here. I've had no fingernails and done this, where you just had a little nub. By the time I done, it had like an eighth of an inch up there, and it worked perfectly. So, I'm going to get the uh, super glue out, and I got the acrylic powder ready. Take the top off. And you can get that anywhere on eBay or uh, Amazon. So, get the glue out, and I'm going to put it carefully right under the bottom. Now, I'm not that, it's not that easy because. And if I hit if I hit the tape, that's okay. Okay. So then I grab that and I stick it in the acoustic the acrylic powder like that. Now I got some up under it down here. Side of it. Okay, I'll do that for the next one. All I got to say is I, this stuff works this way, but doing it under. So I'm going to do it again. I, I put a coat on, stick it back in the acrylic powder. I'm just trying to get it under it. Then I'm going to check the top and see if I got any buildups of glue on the top, which is what I didn't want at this point, which is okay. So that's why I take this out and I just kind of go like that. Get rid of any excess glue on the top. Okay. 
it's okay to have some up there. It's just that I'm a perfectionist now on it, and it makes it a little easier if I don't build up the top. I will put a couple coats on the top later. Okay, so I'm taking the third one now, right up under it. No, I, I didn't. It's, it's got a good coat in there. I want to get a bunch of acrylic to st stick to it. It's, it's like fiberglass on the inside of your finger now. That's what does the trick. You're going to have to file it and clean it all up and all that. Okay, <laughs> so I brushed off a little off the top. Okay, so, so at this point, I take a little bit of air I got and just kind of blow off the excess. And I do it again for another coat. Try to move a little. I get, I'm getting pretty quick at it, so I got the second coat going now. Uh, I'll just get some more glue right now. Want to make sure you get glue up and around the corners really good, all the way around. Okay, so now I got two coats, acrylic powder going everywhere. Kind of blow that off. Now with a lot of pressure, just a little bit. I'm going to check the tops and see how much cleaning up I got to do. So I just take my paper towel and cardboard. Sometimes you get a little bit sticking up, but you all file that off later. So that's really good right there. So let's just keep going. It's not a, not, not a long process. Okay. So now we come around, get some more glue, and do the whole finger now. Always try to get it on the top, around the top. And then do the top. One more dab in the in the acrylic. Okay, that's three coats because you got th two on the bottom. So you got three coats, two on the bottom and one on the top. The next one. I'm not perfect on any of this. I I just want them to work, and I want them to work good. Get the last one. Hope you can see all this good. It takes a little bit of practice. Okay, I dipped it in. They're all been dipped in there. The fresh coat. So I got two coats, three coats of acrylic on the bottom, one coat of acrylic on the top.
you can see they're starting to build up. I don't know if you can see this. It's like an eighth of an inch. Well, they were an eighth of an inch, but they're a lot bigger now, I'll tell you that much. Yeah, I got some stuff, you know, stuck up in, in here. So now's the time to pull them off before it sets too much. You got to be kind of careful. They, sometimes they're stuck in there. Just get it out. Okay. All right. <laughs> you see a buildup on one. Well, that that would be as hard as a rock. If, but I'm gonna I'm gonna file that one off. So basically, right here, I I gotta let these dry. And a good way to do that, if you're get, if you're in a really big hurry, and I and I always am, is to stick them in the baking soda. So I got most of it. There's only a little bit on the bottom, so I could just stick it my finger on the top and shake it around and get the dust all flapping around all over the finger. Uh, and I'll do the second one. Just get a little bacon. And it's curing right now. It's all cured. So if you were to clean it up. Yeah, that's quite quite a lot of baking soda there. This my, these may be my best set yet. Pretty tough. I always check them and see if I got any big bumps on the top. Cause I, I'll sand those off just because I, they don't feel good. But I, like I said, I'm not perfect. I just want those things tough, and they're tough now. I mean, <laughs> they're tough. I'm gonna put. I'm gonna just go ahead and, and I got a piece of sandpaper here, and how I I work it is up under here like this. You know, just like everybody else does with you know, filing their fingernails, you just file it the same old way. You might have a little super glue stuck in there, right, tied up in there, you know, that bugs you. But if you put the tape in there right and you pull it off in time, and I don't usually ever have anything, but I've had some stuck in there and it was a little discomfort. But <coughs> you can take a little tiny file or a knife and you can pull it out. It's just a piece of broken acrylic and super glue just kind of stuck up in there. But if you get a lot of glue on your fingernail and your finger skin, that's what the tape's there to separate that for. But I've done it that way too. I've just pulled my finger back, held it one way and just put some super glue on there and take a piece of cardboard and just wipe off the excess really quick or a paper towel. I mean, it's really not hard to do it, but the tape does the better job. Anyway, so you just file it all up like that, and um, and I'll put one more coat on there, you know, just to make it look pretty. And then I'll be good for, like, at least a week of slamming on guitars and basses or whatever. You know, I even play basketball and everything else, and, and they don't break off. And way better than just doing the tops. The underside is the key. Okay, I went and uh, put another coat of super glue on them after I just filed mostly the underneath of them. I just wanted to see if you could see them. And don't forget you got to have clean dry fingernails and hands when you're doing all that. Can you see that? I don't know. But they're about 3 sixteenths. I think I added at least and I filed these down a lot. They're up at least a sixteenth probably 30 seconds almost the 16th but if you have just a little bit of a nub here I mean like for example this finger right here see that one that little fingernail nothing right nothing at all but if you're to still get your fingernail under there like that and you got that tape in there I was talking about there nice and tight you would end up with something that you could probably pick with that would stay on there too you know. But anyway, it takes a little bit of practice. 
There you go. Hope they. Hope you can see them. I'm ready to go. Two weeks probably. I'll repair them here and there along the way. Add a little bit of super glue on, on the ends here. And file them down and keep them going. Okay, have a good day. See you later.